Are you a DeFi user or developer looking for a fast, efficient, and fair blockchain network? Welcome to Crypto Explainer, where we explain topics about crypto trends, NFT games, crypto exchanges, blockchain networks, and more. In this video, we're going to measure up 5 layer 1 networks to see which ones live up to the hype. Right now, blockchain supremacy is a hot topic in DeFi. DeFi users and developers want a network that is fast, efficient, and fair. A lot of blockchains claim to embody all three, but when stacked up against each other, the differences become quite apparent. To help separate the good, the bad, and the ugly, we're going to measure up blockchains to see which ones live up to the hype. In this video, we'll look closer at 5 layer 1 networks, Telos, Polygon, Solana, Phantom, and Avalanche. Ready? Let's go! Block time. Block time is the measure of the time it takes the miners or validators within a network to verify transactions within one block and produce a new block in that blockchain. Generally speaking, faster block times are more appropriate for applications for which it is important that information is added to the blockchain quickly. So who has the fastest block times? Let's compare. Tlos 0.5 seconds, Solana 0.6 seconds and Phantom, 0.7 seconds are in a virtual tie. Avalanche and Polygon fall behind with 2 second block times. Winner, TLOS, Solana, Phantom, Runner-Ups, Avalanche, and Polygon. TLOS, Solana, and Phantom are in a virtual tie, although TLOS does edge them out slightly. Avalanche and Polygon are runner-ups. Transactions per second. TLOS blows Avalanche out of the water here. TLOS has proven 10,000 TPS higher achieved on testnet, while Avalanche delivers just 4,500 TPS theoretical max. Polygon and Solana come in second place with 7,200 TPS and 8,000 TPS respectively. Phantom TPS isn't listed anywhere. Winner, TLOS. Runner-ups, Solana and Polygon. TLOS takes the title of Battle at TPS with no downtime since going live. Solana and Polygon come in as runner-ups. Both are notorious for having network delays and congestions. TPS isn't the only important metric. Transaction finality is often overlooked and is equally as important. TF measures the amount of time a user has to wait to receive confirmation that a transaction made on the blockchain won't be changed or cancelled. It's an important indicator of a network's efficiency. Let's compare our candidates. Phantom, Solana, and Avalanche are in a three-way tie with two-second transaction finality. Polygon is where things get stick. Polygon POS requires 20 confirmations from its validators to reach transaction finality. This can take anywhere from two seconds up to five whole minutes. Telos trumps them all with transaction finality of under one second. Winner, Telos. Runner-up, Phantom, Solana, Avalanche. Once again, Telos leads the pack and does so in stunning fashion. Phantom, Solana, and Avalanche take second place. Front running. Easily one of the biggest drawbacks in the crypto space. The ability of node operators or users to increase GWEI so their transaction takes priority over someone else's. It's plagued NFT mints, pre-sales, and other high transaction events. It's provided whales and bot programmers with steep advantages over regular users, robbing them of their capital through gas wars in which they barely stand a chance. So which networks allow for this to happen? Let's find out. They all do, except TLOS. So the winner over here is TLOS. TLOS has eliminated front running entirely with fixed gas fees on all transactions. Furthermore, its lightning fast network speed doesn't require users to increase gas to force a transaction through. First in, first out, no exceptions. Fees. Show me the money. How much are you spending in crypto and NFT fees? That all depends. Let's dive in, shall we? TLOS has a free native transactions and a few pennies on the TLOS EVM, while each transaction in Avalanche costs $1. Phantom and Polygon are also quite low. Fees average $0.01. Solana has extremely low fees which makes it the winner in this category $0.00025. Winner Solana, TLOS, Polygon, Phantom. Runner-ups Avalanche.
Solana, Telos, Polygon, and Phantom are the winners here, with Solana leading the pack. These networks have done an excellent job of reducing user fees to just a few cents or less. Meanwhile, Avalanche trails by a mile. Staking APY One of the most exciting protocols in DeFi is staking. It lets users put their crypto to work for them to earn interest in exchange for adding liquidity. But which of these five L1s offer the highest staking rewards? Avalanche comes in at 8.22% APY. Phantom trails Avalanche with 6.39% APY. Solana isn't looking good in this category. Staking APY is just 5.8%. Polygon trails the pack with 4.95% APY. TLOS staking names and kicking butt with 13.6% APY for its EVM liquid staking protocol. The winner here is TLOS. Runner-ups, Avalanche. Want more staking rewards? TLOS has got you covered. Avalanche also comes in with a decent APY, but then again, why settle for less? Energy consumption. Blockchain's biggest Achilles heel is its energy consumption from proof-of-work blockchains such as Bitcoin, Syscoin, Litecoin, and Doge. This has made a strong case for POS networks that utilize validator nodes rather than miners. So who out of our five is burning the least amount of fuel? Phantom clocks in at 0.00000301 kilowatt hours per transaction. TLOS EVM uses 0.00002 kilowatt hours per transaction. Solana comes in at 0.00075 kilowatt hours per transaction. Polygon uses 1.6 kilowatt hours per transaction. Avalanche utilizes 0.0028 per transaction. The winners are TLOS and Phantom in a virtual tie. And the runner-ups are Avalanche and Solana in second place. If going green is a priority for you, and it should be, TLOS and Phantom are the networks that eliminate their carbon footprint better than the rest. Market cap slash TVL score. While market capitalization is a valuable metric to consider, combining that with the total locked value TVL indicates the confidence that investors have in a network's native token. The lower the number, the better. We look further, all figures at time of writing December 7th. Polygon 8.9, Phantom 1.6, Solana 24.7, Avalanche 11.1, TLOS 1.4. Winners, TLOS edges out Phantom for the top spot in MC slash TVL ratio. Runner-ups, Phantom takes a close second place. MC slash TVL tells a lot about a network and the community's faith in its ecosystem. TLOS shines in this category compared to other L1 giants such as Solana and Polygon. Conclusion So in summary we have Block time Number 1 TLOS following Phantom and Solana Transactions per second Number 1 TLOS with runner-up Solana and Polygon Front running TLOS Finality Number 1 TLOS following Phantom and Solana Fees Number 1 Solana Number 2 TLOS Number 3 Polygon And Number 4 Phantom Staking APY Number 1 TLOS Number 2 Avalanche Number 3 Phantom Energy Consumption TLOS and Phantom are tie Market Cap slash TVL Ratio Number 1 TLOS Number 2 Phantom TLOS comes out on top in virtually all categories. This really speaks to the dedication of the TLOS Foundation in addressing the pain points in today's DeFi's environment and building an ecosystem that empowers its users and developers. TLOS looks to be an incredible blockchain that can compete with the most popular blockchains at the moment. They're continually building amazing technology and have some really exciting partnerships lined up. It's only a question of time when TLOS becomes a household name in the crypto space. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post a video like this.